What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf al Sanad. and guys and gals, wow, I mean, if you guys and gals could probably tell right now that I'm very soaked and have it washed and shit, it's because I just got done watching this movie which a brother online, this brother known as Clip, Clip has recommended to yours truly to watch this one movie by Timo Yayanto, whatever his name is, I'm very sorry guys and gals, I cannot pronounce his name, but this director is from Indonesia and has lived in Germany for quite some time and he made this movie Timo Yayanto whatever his name is he's the one who directed the film and the film yours truly is talking about is the night comes for us which yours truly will talk about and review and thank you so much clip thank you thank you thank you so very much for bringing this movie to my attention because this film guys and gals is without question so fucking awesome so fucking blood the awesome and yours truly means that in both the literal and figurative way because this film guys and gals is truly awesome bloody awesome for you guys and gals who don't know the night comes for us which was by director Timo whatever his last name is is an Indonesian martial arts action film and this film guys and gals oh my god is so fucking awesome this film guys and gals where the fuck do I begin but the basic story is about this man a man named Ito who's played so fucking well by Joe Taslim. Joe Taslim plays Ito who is a member of the Six Seas. The Six Seas who are the elite of the enforcers who work for the triad. The triad who are basically stationed in Southeast Asia. They are the elite of the triad. The Six Seas are. And the Six Seas guys and gals believe in one principle and that one principle is welcome death and no survivors. That means they're victims whether they be their enemies or friends because these guys guys and gals don't welcome anyone into their group and these people the six C's are merciless ruthless and cold-hearted and Ito was once one of them until one day he spots a young girl a young girl whose name is Rina and Rina's parents were murdered in front of her especially her mother who told Rina to run but Rina guys and gals was too shocked and too scared to do so and Rina was at the mercy of Ito Ito who chose to spare her because he felt bad for her and Ito believes Rina to be his second chance his second chance at life and to do the right thing for once and without any hesitation Ito vows to protect her to protect Rina at the cost of his beloved friends his beloved friends who were once part of the triad and they include Fatih, Bobby, Rizu and their former friend who has switched sides over to the triad and that friend that ex-friend the former friend and traitor is Arian. Arian is played by Iko Uwe, my man. Iko Uwe, guys and gals, I swear to you all, is the next Bruce Lee. He fucking is. Iko Uwe is back and Iko Uwe, this time around, is not playing a good guy but takes on a more bad guy role and he's so great at that. Oh my god, guys and gals, both Ito and Arian have unfinished business, business which they will settle in the movie, in their final bout, their final confrontation and of course their final fight as brothers and enemies this film guys and gals is fucking awesome I mean I do not know where to begin with this movie guys and gals this film is just so insane bloody action packed and this film guys and gals it is so creative with the way the action is done and the way the blood is squirted you guys and gals heard me right I said squirted because this film has some blood squirting moments and those moments guys and gals is just so insane and so cool to watch the action the performances, the story itself, guys and gals, everything about this movie I love so much, which includes the direction by Timo, whatever his last name is, and of course, guys and gals, the action and performers work so well together. By performers, yours truly means the actors and actresses who work together in the fight scenes. The fight scenes, guys and gals, is just so awesome and so bloody and so cool to watch. I mean, you can see the fight up close. The fight scenes have little to no cut and that's so good guys and gals because action films with fight scenes done right like it is in this movie The Night Comes For Us is the kind of action film I love the kind of martial arts and action movie yours truly adores so much and the fight scenes in this movie guys and gals trust me they are so bloody as hell but so good once again and the fight scenes my personal favorites includes the butcher shop fight scene the apartment fight scene and of course guys and gals the final battle between both Ito and 
Aryan and that fight guys and gals is just so good, so fucking awesome and my god the best fight of this movie, not just the best fight of this movie but the best fight of any fight scenes this whole year, of any action films or martial arts movie, this film right here guys and gals is the ultimate action film, the ultimate action slash martial arts movie and this film guys and gals I mean what can I say about it, the story, the action, the direction, the fight scenes, the way the fight scenes are filmed and handled and of course guys and gals this film has so many great performances Joe Teslam as Ito is so great and so heartbreaking in his role as this man who is basically broken and wants to achieve redemption by protecting this young girl this young girl being Rina Rina is played so well by the young actress I don't know her name guys and gals but she is so great in her role and my boy guys and gals Iko Uwe is so fucking awesome that he is Iko Uwe guys and girls I mean he can play both a bad guy and good guy a complex bad guy and Aryan guys and girls is a very complex and flawed man a man who wants to achieve so much Aryan is so ambitious and wants to achieve greatness at the cost of his friends who he betrayed these two men guys and girls these two former brothers were meant to fight each other till the very end and fight guys and girls they do and their fight scenes is just oh my god so fucking good and so fucking mad Manly, so bloody as hell but this fight scene guys and gals between the two their final fight scene is just so good Zach Lee as Bobby white boy Bobby as they call him is so fucking awesome I mean this guy is crazy and weird but so fucking strong and Bobby guys and gals white boy Bobby is so fucking awesome Abhimana Aratsatya whatever his name is the actor himself he plays Fatih one of the friends of Ito and Fatih guys and gals is played so well by Abhimana Arat Satya. Julie Estelle as the operator is so great and plays her character so well. Julie Estelle was one of the actors and actresses from The Raid 2 where Julie Estelle played Hammer Girl. Hammer Girl who was one of the best characters of that movie and Julie Estelle as the operator is so great and of course you have two other female characters Alma and Elena. Those two characters guys and gals are played by Dina and this one woman her name is Hannah Al Rashid both of who were so great everyone in this movie guys and gals all of them were so good and this film guys and gals I do recommend you watch it for the action the story the performances everything about this film guys and gals once again is so fucking awesome so bloody awesome and that's why I do recommend you guys and gals watch the film if you wish thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my gaming channel where I do let's play series gaming content and so much more. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir and sayonara.